the City of Kent has added two new roundabouts along East Summit Street on the Kent State University campus. This is a two-part video series that will look at these roundabouts. The larger of the two and the highlighted roundabout for this video intersects at East Summit Street and West Campus Center or Risman Drive. The smaller roundabout is located just east at the intersection of East Summit Street and Ted Boyd Johnston Drive. We will take a cruise through the approaches to help prepare motorists and pedestrians for the new traffic pattern, as well as highlight some pertinent information. You will obviously find that there is a focus on pedestrian access, seeing that the roundabouts are located on a college campus. We start with the approach coming from Risman Drive. Risman Drive is a north to south road coming out of the heart of campus. You are heading southbound on Risman if you are entering the roundabout and northbound if you are exiting. You will notice all the hallmarks of a roundabout advanced notification system. Starting with the roundabout ahead sign with suggested speed limit of 15 miles per hour, a lane use sign denoting the outside lane is a right turn or through movement. The inside lane is dedicated to left turns. In the center is the keep right of median sign followed by the pedestrian crosswalk signs. If you fail to see the lane use sign, pavement markings are also available to assist. Hawk signals are added, which are high-intensity activated crosswalk beacons that alert drivers to pedestrian presence by flashing amber to stationary red sequence, and only stops traffic as needed, allowing for longer periods of uninterrupted traffic flow and our pedestrian push button activated. Crosswalk is located in close proximity to the Hawk signals with additional cautionary signage highlighting potential pedestrian presence. Once through the crosswalk and near the point of vehicular intersection, Yield to oncoming traffic and roundabout directional arrow signs remind the driver that oncoming traffic should be coming from the left. You will notice triangular pavement markings followed by a dashed line. The triangular markings are better known as shark teeth yield lines and indicate the best estimated stop to yield location. The dashed line is a roundabout lane line. Utilizing these two indicators should help the motorist navigate entry into the roundabout. Also highlighted each leg of the roundabout is their respective street signs. After allowing oncoming vehicles their right of way, you are now able to make a right in and then out of the roundabout heading westbound on Summit Street. Immediately, another pedestrian crosswalk is highlighted with corresponding hawk signals. Once clear of the roundabout, not highlighted but duly noted is the Summit Street speed limit of 35 miles per hour. Caution should still be maintained as an additional crosswalk is present mid-block on Summit Street. Back on Risman Drive, heading southbound, we are now going to make a through movement to Campus Center Drive. Illustrated by the pavement markings, you will want to remain in the outer right lane. With continuous movement and yielding only when required, you enter the roundabout to find additional pavement markings confirming lane use. We remain in the marked outer right lane, which is defined by a series of solid then hashed lines. The hashed lines indicate an area where vehicles from the right would enter into the roundabout. At this point, following the right lane will successfully exit the driver onto Campus Center Drive. Maintain caution when exiting looking for any additional advance notification signage. As you will notice, throughout, an additional crosswalk is present. We will now make a left turn movement from Risman Drive through the roundabout onto Summit Street eastbound. Pavement markings indicate the left innermost lane is the prescriptive lane used for this movement. In the roundabout, multiple pavement markings can be seen based on quadrant location. After passing Campus Center Drive, the marking indicates that you can maintain in the roundabout or exit the roundabout with a through movement. For our purposes, we will be exiting the roundabout onto Summit Street eastbound with a watchful eye on the immediate crosswalk. And further up Summit Street is another mid-block crosswalk with ample notifications. Summit Street is an east-west roadway running through both of the roundabouts. This video still only focuses on the larger of the two. And our next approach is Summit Street coming from the west. The first movement will be a right turn onto Campus Center Drive. Common features which we have seen on the previous approaches will continue to occur throughout this video, such as roundabout advanced notifications, crosswalk and mid-block crosswalk notifications, and etc. So for time's sake, I will try to simply highlight those on screen rather than discuss them. Here, however, since we are making a right turn onto Campus Center Drive, you will see a dedicated right turn only lane. Notice the pavement markings indicate such information as well. Crosswalk and pedestrian notification Yield line notification 
exiting crosswalk notification. Now back on Summit Street headed eastbound, we will now be making a left turn movement through the roundabout onto Risman Drive going northbound. We have ahead of us the mid-block crosswalk, but you should also be aware of the driveway and approaching vehicle coming from the right that you may not have noticed previously. Again, we have crosswalk and yield notifications, but here we want to discuss the lane use and traffic patterns. The closest or exterior lane is the exiting lane of the roundabout, while the interior lane is for continuous movement around the roundabout. We will pass through the exiting lane when clear and join the interior continuous lane. The pavement markings indicate possible motor vehicle operations and we will want to stay in the roundabout passing Summit Street and moving to the outside lane intended for exiting the roundabout at Risman Drive. Coming from the south on Campus Center Drive, we will be making a right turn movement onto Summit Street eastbound. Advanced notification indicates that the right lane is intended for a right turn onto Summit or a through movement north onto Risman Drive. The left lane is dedicated to continuous movement around the roundabout to Summit Street westbound. Here's a good example of yielding to an oncoming vehicle without coming to a complete stop. Using the shark teeth yield lines as a gauge for proximity, the driver can slow their pace knowing there is a comfortable distance for the passing vehicle to smoothly transition out of the roundabout while you fill in comfortably behind them. Making the through movement to Risman from Campus Center Drive takes a similar approach. However, in this example, we see the difference when yielding with motion in contrast to coming to a complete stop. As can be seen and highlighted, a red car is in the roundabout in the interior continuous lane. It's approaching Campus Center Drive and appears to be looking to exit onto Summit Street eastbound. Assuming these factors, we approach the shark teeth yield lines and come to a complete stop. Allow the exiting vehicle to pass through, then cautiously proceed into the roundabout maintaining your lane. The pavement marker indicates we are in the proper lane and we exit the roundabout as predetermined. Take this moment to remind all drivers to stay vigilant in knowing your surroundings. Although we have clearly marked pedestrian walkways, being on a college campus almost ensures that pedestrians are everywhere and anywhere. The left turn movement around the roundabout to Summit Street westbound offers us a unique opportunity to view oncoming traffic once again. In this scenario, you will notice two vehicles approaching the roundabout from the west, with two distinct movements, one taking a right turn onto Campus Center Drive, and one remaining in the roundabout, causing us to yield. Knowing traffic is coming from the right side, we stop at the yield lines and wait for the traffic to move through. Once the last vehicle has cleared, we may now cautiously enter the roundabout, looking for proper pavement markings and lane use. Once you have passed Risman Drive, you should locate your exit onto Summit Street and scan for pedestrians at the exiting crosswalk. Our last set of approaches will be coming from Summit Street heading westbound. We will be making a right turn movement onto Risman Drive going northbound, and the second sequence will be a left turn movement through the roundabout onto Campus Center Drive going southbound. We have a mid-block crosswalk before we get to the roundabout. Notice, we also have a dedicated right turn only lane as we approach the roundabout and the roundabout intersection crosswalk. All advanced notifications are present, including the yield line notification. There is no conflicting traffic, so we flow continuously through the right turn onto Risman Drive with a watchful eye on the exiting roundabout crosswalk. Back on Summit Street headed westbound, we will now run our final approach, making a left turn movement through the roundabout onto Campus Center Drive going southbound. Mid-block crosswalk is followed by lane use signs 
we will be staying in the left lane which is designed for through or left turn movements around the roundabout. Passing the second crosswalk and approaching the Shark Teeth Yield Lines, we notice the roundabout has a similar design as the Summit Street eastbound approach, with a through exiting lane on the exterior and a continuous movement around the roundabout lane on the interior. Passing through the exiting lane to join the continuous lane, we locate the pavement markings and confirm our direction. Once past Risman Drive, we need to select our lane use. The interior lane continues around the roundabout, while the exterior through movement exits the roundabout onto Campus Center Drive. And as always, we ask that you keep a watchful eye for pedestrians.